<laughs> hey, welcome to Have a Yarn with Charlie. I'm Charlie. I got the. Mm, I hit record. There goes the dogs pushing me, and yeah. So this is gonna be a quick one. Uh, in one of my story time videos, I I need a sip of coffee. Hold on. Oh. Mm. Mm. Much better. So I um in my story time video I mentioned that I am designing an apron and a poncho with sleeves. Now I don't want to give too much away because there's other people out there that go, hmm. hmm. But you know what? So be it. It's the world. That's why I haven't put it up there yet. And I um I have two things to show you today. And I want to know what you think. Um, I have to get really close to the camera or pause it because it's just out of reach. So instead of being really close, hold on. Okay, there we go. So I started out with um, size three yarn. I have a lot of it. But I'm like, I don't know if a lot of people have size three. But I guess uh, halfway done. I started with, I hope you can see it, Mandala Yarn. It is the Valkyrie Colors. And <laughs> I was like, okay, we need a simple pattern so everybody can do it. All right. And then I'm like, well, we got, we got beginners and we have advanced and we have medium and, but it all depends on the teacher, right? So, I started with this one, and I should have, I'm going to pull this out a little bit so I don't lose stitches. Um, this is one part of the poncho. Like I said, this too uh, <laughs> It's going to be long, and I'm not far enough back. Okay. Now, on the bottom, I'll show you more. Ugh. Look at that, Dougie. Ah, here we go. On the bottom, it starts out with one type of pattern here. And I was like, eh, it's going to take a while. So then I changed it to, like, the granny square. But I kept this part, which was a closer knit and three different stitches, in one but the way this is gonna work is yes it's long for a reason but eh. <laughs> as you're making it okay you have the one side now you're working the front and the back at the same time you have the front <laughs> and then you have the back I know, it's cockeyed because I'm in the chair and I don't want to, don't you want that wire? You're, no, no. But this is going to come down. It's going to be like a border, that special stitch. It's going to come down and then I'm going to make the the sleeve just here. Um, and I'll make a neck opening. Now I'm going to make two of these and then uh, stitch them together, each the sleeve. Simple enough, right? But this was the first one. It was the, the granny stitch. And I was like, these colors are a little bright for me. And they were a little too bright. And I only had three balls of the Valkyrie. So I, was, I put that aside. I'm like, okay, what do I have that is easy to get? I have enough of. And let's see if I can move you up a little bit. Ah. Nope. Okay, I paused it. I fought with the thing, said a few bad words. All right. <laughs> so, um, then I found this in my stash. It was a full cake, but it was the Karen Big Cakes. And I'm halfway through it. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. I don't know. But... I 
again, chose a hard stitch, but I kept going with it because I'm loving how it is working up um, and how it looks, especially with these colors. Now, it's the same thing. It's going to be front to back. There's going to be two of them, and then you make the opening and the sleeves. Uh, I am recording the tutorial, but on this one, it is, I made my own border. I don't know if you can see it. It's just half double crochets and whatnot. Um, and then double crochets, and then it goes into front post, back post. But it's called the rice stitch. It, um, let's turn it this way. It's called the rice stitch because after you go a row and you turn your work, you do the same exact thing. Even if the post is a back on the previous row, you're doing a front. Does that make sense? <laughs> so every row, even after you turn it, you start with the front post and then the back and then front, back. But this is how it's working up so far. Aren't these colors gorgeous? I know it's long, but look at that. Ah, oh, yes. And this stitch is making it um, tight stitches, so it'll be warmer. Oh, but by the time I'm done with it, it's probably going to be spring, and then I have to think of something for the spring. And I know my purple's coming out. <laughs> oh well. But um, yeah. So. Let me know if you're really interested in this poncho or not. Um, now that you get to see the basics of what I have been doing. And if I should keep taping it <laughs> and, and doing a tutorial on it or not. Because uh, if nobody's going to be interested, I'm not going to do it. I'll just make it for me. But all right. Um, let me know in the comments below, please, and thank you. Uh, while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button and share me out. Alright, I'll see you all soon.